Hello and welcome. I'm Vivian with foodandstyle.com. To prepare the butternut squash, cut both ends off. And then peel the squash with a vegetable hand peeler. Once that's done, cut the squash in half lengthwise and scoop out the seeds. Place the squash cut side down and cut it lengthwise in about one inch wide slices. Cut each slice again so that they measure about one inch wide and then crosswise in one inch pieces. I really recommend you use a non-stick baking dish for the squash, otherwise the pieces will absolutely stick to the bottom of the pan and also make sure the pan is big enough to hold them in a single layer. Now sprinkle the squash pieces with salt and black pepper. Drizzle with a sherry. and the olive oil. Now toss well with your hands. Oh my, this sherry smells so good. It's going to add such a wonderful sweetness to our dish. Now place the pieces in one layer again and bake the squash at 475 for 20 minutes uncovered. Here we are. So now toss the cubes making sure to turn them over. Spread them again so they are in one layer. Butternut squash is done. As you see, our butternut squash pieces have got a lovely golden brown color. So now you can just let them cool in the pan until you're ready to use them. Butter the molds with a little soft butter and then dust each ramequin with a little flour. This is a job I like to do above the sink because it's a lot easier to clean up. Here we go. This featherweight and buttery brioche is the perfect bread for this dish. It's going to make our bread pudding incredibly light and moist. I like to cut the brioche in small cubes, about three quarters of an inch. This way it makes for a better presentation and it is easier to fit them in the individual molds. Place the eggs in the large bowl. Add the egg yolk, the salt, the pepper, and whisk until well blended. Add the milk, the heavy cream, and whisk again until well blended. Now add the bread cubes. So stir until you see that the bread is nice and wet. And then let it sit for five minutes so that the bread absorbs most of the liquid. All right, the bread has absorbed most of the liquid. So now we add the cheese and the butternut squash pieces. Now stir until just incorporated. Don't overdo it, otherwise you will break both the bread and the squash pieces. and then spoon in the prepared molds. Look at these gorgeous bread puddings. Now make sure to cool them for five to 10 minutes before unmolding them. 
Now that the bread puddings have cooled, you can actually touch the mold. It is warm to the touch, but not hot anymore. So shake the bread puddings to loosen them from the side of the mold. You'll hear them jiggling in there. Then place a small plate on top of the mold and flip. Lift the mold gently. And now turn the bread pudding top side up. Bon appétit!